Good morning. I'm Buster Olney of ESPN the Magazine, and this is the ESPN.com baseball video blog for Thursday, February 10th. Right after Andy Pettit announced his intention to retire, there was a lot of speculation that the Yankees would go after Felix Hernandez of the Seattle Mariners. After all, we've seen many examples in the past where the Yankees or the Red Sox or one of the big market teams has wound up with a star young pitcher from another team. Well, on, Mon on Tuesday, I was in Seattle and had a chance to talk with Felix at Safeco Field, and it's pretty clear from that conversation, his mindset is nothing like Zach Granke's mindset before Granke essentially forced his way out of, the Kansas, out of Kansas City and away from the Royals into a trade to the Milwaukee Brewers. Felix Hernandez is fully embracing his time with the Mariners. When I asked him the question about, you know, what do you tell people, what do you tell friends uh, when speculation comes up, he said, hey, I got four years left on my contract. After that, we'll see. But then he went on and talked about how much he loves playing in Seattle, how much he loves the city, the fact that he's raising his family there. Uh, and it was pretty clear that he's developed a connection there. He actually is one of only a few players who live in Seattle and make their home there in the offseason. And when you talk to Mariners people, they say he's worked very hard to represent the organization in off-season events. He'll sign autographs. He'll meet with uh, potential advertisers. He'll talk to sponsors. It's the type of thing you do when you view yourself as a face of the franchise. A lot of stuff can change. When his contract runs out in four years, who knows? Maybe the Red Sox will land him. Maybe the Yankees will land him. But it wouldn't be a surprise if at the end of his career we look back and we see that Felix Hernandez was like Cal Ripken was to the Orioles or like Tony Gwynn was to the San Diego Padres. He seems fully invested in the Mariners right now. For ESPN the Magazine, I'm Buster Olney.